Uh, hi, my name is Juliana Pierce, and I am a mother of a vaccine injured child. My son Nathan, at 23 months, received his before, during, and after vaccines in one visit. He received his three live viruses mixed together, Hep A and Hep B, and he almost died. He um, did not recover. He actually kept going downhill more and more and more each time, and he just kept regressing and regressing. And he ended up having the CDC come in and biopsy him to see how why is this kid walking around like he has the measles and the chicken pox. And once that CDC biopsy came out, it was like, okay, this is a one in a million reaction that he had to the vaccines. Come to find out, it's not one in a million. It's just that they happened to, his was so obvious that they did acknowledge that he was vaccine injured. So because of the CDC report, a group of doctors knew about me before I knew about them. And I was fortunate to get to them in time with Nathan, with his story and with his uh, medical records. And I was able to fly him to Florida for treatment that he should have received in California. So today, um, he's usually with me at these rallies. Um, he's in college right now. He started out in a wheelchair, meeting his first politicians. So he's in that group now of children that are aging out. And so we have these new kids coming in. So they can't say that they didn't know because they did know. They came out, they did the test, and they said, yes, this, this happened. But today I wanted to stand up for medical freedom as a medical professional. So that's why I'm here today. And I'm gonna to continue to fight until these unjust laws, every one of them and every vaccine is either cleaned up or liabilities put back on. Because if they had liability, we wouldn't have mandates. We wouldn't have injuries because they would, make, they would definitely make them safe. And so we, we need to stop this. We need to stop this now. And people out there, you need to hear us. Because if you don't hear us, you will be us. And we don't want that. So that's why I'm here today.